So um, now we're going, we're on number five, we're going to add the point split line to mark across the back. Now it says first they want us to do 7.5, which is the measurement for the across back on, yeah, across back <laughs> on the back side. And then they want us to do the across front at seven inches. Um, why do you think it matters if we do the back first? Doesn't really, you can get around it, but it does make it a little bit more simple. And I'll show you why it's because it's the way it measures the line. So right now we have the whole line. We don't have to worry about anything. Um, so we could do math to like figure out like subtraction from the whole rectangle to what we actually want. But so like, okay, if I am I'm, I'm on X, I think I am I'm on X. Yeah. And, um, I'm going to right click. So line number two, it says seven point. Why don't I just do seven just to show you why 7.5 is better. So I'm gonna say seven. So I did seven first. Okay. So now I'm going to do 7.5, but look, it split the line. So now for me to measure, I, I can't type 7.5 anymore. So I have to do like a little math, right? So 7.5 is half an inch more than seven. I know he's at seven. So I'd have to right click at um, uh, 0.5. See, and that works, that's fine. But I think just like the instructions, the people who made this, I'm hitting Z just to delete that guy. And then I hit delete on my keyboard. I think that they think maybe it's more intuitive to, um, I'm hitting X. I'm gonna right click to be able to just go, oh, 7.5. Okay, and then right next to it, right click and do seven. Maybe they think that's easier than having to do math, you know. Either way works, but I just wanted to bring that to your attention. Like, pay attention when you're splitting these lines, because then when you split it again, it's not going to split the entire line. Okay, it's not going to split it past the other split point, I guess. Um, number six. I don't really know why they tell us to draw a perpendicular to chest level. This is our well. I, I don't know. We don't even really have the chest level <laughs> identified, um, and. What does it say? Uh, connecting the chest to the across front marking? I don't know, maybe we'll come back to that. It might be a typo or something. I'm gonna skip it. I think what they want us to do, because I have finished, completed this um, before in the in my past. So I think what they want is just a high point shoulder straight line going down. So that's what I'm gonna do instead. So I know this is my going to be my neck curve. And I know this is gonna be my shoulder slope. So there will be a line here. So therefore, this is my high point shoulder um, point. So I believe it would be nice just to have a line perpendicular going straight down. So I could use as a point of measurement later. Um, so to do a perpendicular line, um, I think it's easiest to, I'm going to hit Z so I can select it and I'm going to right click and it says add perpendicular internal line. Okay. So right off the bat, you should probably learn the difference between the X and Y axis. Maybe you learned this already in school and maybe you forgot because you don't use it all the time. So my trick to remember it is that X is kind of like a cross because it's kind of sounds like a cross. Does that sound like an X? I don't know. And then Y it's capital Y. It's kind of like thin and tall. So Y is vertical goes up and down and then X goes across. I don't know if that works for me. Um, but this is tricky. So I do want the line to go up and down. So I want it to go on the Y axis, but I'm using a tool that's saying adds a perpendicular line. <laughs> so I need the opposite of Y. So even though I want a Y, I don't know, I have to hit X. So when I first started using this, I didn't take the time to really learn what was what. I would just pick one. And then if it was wrong, I'd pick the other. But anyways, there we go. It worked out for me. Sometimes it goes the other way that might be happening to you. Just like play with these little boxes to get it um, to go the right way. Okay, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna go on to number seven. We're gonna use a new tool. Um, it's the polygon line tool, but it's the internal one. So remember, I know this is a polygon tool, but this is to draw a pattern piece. We don't wanna do that. We wanna draw an internal line on our like rectangular fabric we have. So this is the tool, keyboard shortcut is G. And I'm just going to draw my neck opening, actually, which is this dot and this dot. So I'm going to click right here. And then, you know, maybe, I don't know, maybe I need a couple dots. I'm going to try just one anchor point. And I'm just going to click and drag. And much like Illustrator, these, like, handlebars come out. 
Um, and I can always go and clean it up later. And then maybe go like that a lot. That's obviously kind of messy. Um, and then I'm going to click that one time because my shoulder slopes, what I'm going to draw next, that should be a straight line. And I'm going to do the, um, my cross front. So I'm going to grab that anchor point. And then this is my armhole opening. And then I'm done. So I'm going to hit return. And then I can go and clean this up. So a couple tips. It would be nice if you had a 90 degree angle at both of these corners. I currently don't. I also want a 90, 90 degree angle here for a little bit because when I um, cut it on the fold or, you know, op open it up, if this is curving up, it'll look pointy. So I got to clean that up and make sure it's straight for 90 degrees. And same down here. So, yeah. How do I clean that up? I'm sure you're all wondering. Okay, so they have these edit curve points to play around with. I don't have good words to explain them other than just try it out. Um, yeah, so let's see here. Um, which one should I do? I'm gonna try this one. Maybe I should zoom in. This one might be a little long. A little long this handlebar. Kind of play around with it. Oopsies. Uh oh. Okay. Um. Let's check over here. Oh no. I think it's fine for right now. Is this guy going in too much? I don't know. It's fine for now. I can always place it later once um, we're doing a fitting on the avatar. Okie dokie. Um, okay. Yeah. So play around with both of those. I only kind of played with one. Let me try the other one. This guy. So it, this could kind of, if I'm like, mm, this curve's kind of weird. You can kind of just click and drag it. You have I don't know, some people might like this way better. I kind of like the other one better because I have so much experience in Illustrator, so I feel like I have more control when I use the other one. Um, but I don't know, this might be more intuitive for some people, so play with both and see which one you like better. Okay, so that was number seven. Now number eight, we want to extract um, the front and back pod, uh, pattern piece, front and back body. And, oh, you know what, we got to draw the back armhole. So I ah, we gotta draw the back neckline and then same with the armhole too for the back. So let me get the polygon internal line. I'm drawing some internal lines. So this is gonna be our back neck drop. So I'm gonna click here. Okay. I'm gonna hit return and then I'm gonna draw one here. Draw the back armhole. Okay, I guess that's fine. Hit return. Okay, so now I'm gonna, I have to, right now they're all internal lines. They're not their own pattern piece. So I need to make them their own pattern piece. And you will use the trace tool. So here it is, apparently keyboard shortcuts letter I. And it's like, okay, where do you want it? I'll put it right here. Okay, so now I have to do the same for the back. So I'm gonna hold shift. And click, right click, traces pattern. Points are too close together. Hmm, what is wrong? Oh, what did I do? Did I do something funny? I'm not exactly sure what I did. I don't want that point, do I? Maybe I should delete this point. I'm gonna hit Z. Oh, maybe this is where my neck is supposed to be. Ooh, I messed up. Okay, so I'm gonna hit um, Z, okay. So these points are really close together. I actually have two points on top of each other. <laughs> you can name your points if this happens to you. I never do, but you could. Um, so like I'll open up my object browser right now, my property editor, and I'm gonna click this point. It's like, hey, which one? <laughs> I don't even know. Okay, so this is, oh, I guess my pattern, and then what's this one? 
This is my internal line. So this guy, and the name is shape 2D. Oh, whatever, I don't know how I'll ever remember that. So I might just say internal line. And then this guy is uh, my neck curve. So instead of that shape, I'll say neck curve. Okay, cool. So my back neck curve, I accidentally put on my shoulder slope. I should have put it at this point. So I'm glad we caught that. So now when I click this, it's like, which one do you want? In the internal line one or the neck curve? I want the neck curve. Does that make sense what I just did there? I'm gonna click and drag and bring it up. And then obviously this is a mess. So let's clean. I'm gonna try the edit curve guy. Ooh, dude. Where's my edit curve? Oh no, not edit curve, edit curve, sure. Oh no. Okay. Cool. So let's go back to tracing. Letter I is the keyboard shortcut. Let me zoom in. So I want this line. I'm holding shift. I want that line. I'm going to pan down here. I'm going to hold shift. I'm going to pick the bottom, the side, the back armhole, same shoulder slope, and back neck. Cool. Right click, traces pattern. Zoom out and click. So I can hit A right now, and I don't, oh, I don't think I need this anymore, so I can delete it. Okay, so there we go. I have my back body and also my front body. 